to you, do you still see the firecrackers go off in the sky? How can I when I'm watching television? We weren't gonna die because he was gonna touch the boob. We were gonna die that when he touched the boob, he was gonna find the gym socks and the Kleenex. That knockers up gal, Miss Rusty Warren. Hi, I'm Rusty Warren. Knockers up. Knockers up. Knockers up. It was improper for a woman to speak the way I did about sex. Hell, I admitted to the entire world that we women like sex. Liked it. We weren't even telling the ones we were doing it with that we liked it. You pick out instances and things that happen in your life, all of a sudden it comes to you, boom, it's out of your mouth, and before you know it, you've got a so-called routine. Mostly I played the piano and I sang a little, but every so often I would get a heckler, and I'd talk back to him and people would start to laugh. And of course I liked that laughter much better than I did some of that applause, so I started to talk more and to sing and to play less. It was in Chicago that my manager, Stan Zucker, talked me into recording a comedy album. And I had cut the, the Knockers Up album in Fort Lauderdale and uh, took it to New York, which we distributed all over the country. And it took over a year and a half for that album to get to the million selling point. Hell, it was even written up in Time magazine. Every time you pick up a magazine, Cosmopolitan magazine, have you had your orgasm today? Jesus, I haven't had time to bake the cookies. Let <laughs> <my children. laughs> Too goddamn I knew about Rusty because I've always been in the record and music business and I knew that she had sold millions of albums. So, sure enough, when she came to play, she did tremendous business. If opportunity knocks on your door, don't open it, unless it bangs. <laughs> Bounce your boobies, get into the swing. Bounce your boobies, the swing is everything. It makes no difference if they're big or small. As long as you give them your all. Yeah,